Hi, my name is Athens Parker, and this is my Week 7 Education 630 discussion board. As an effective educator, I am always looking to create an equi equitable learning environment and experience for my students. Educational technology is a great way to create that equity. Robler and Hughes 2019 discussed using blended learning environments to aid in this. For example, there is a blended learning program used for reading intervention called Read 180. The program follows the rotation model which positions learners to transitions among face-to-face -face and online modalities, Roblair and Hughes, 2019, page 273. The program creates equity in the classroom by meeting students where they are, adapting to their growth throughout the course of the program and allowing for choice. The program is also tied to assessments that monitor and guide the content and skills that students interact with. When done effectively, implementing blended learning programs that also act as assistive Learning allows students to gain access to curriculum and skills being taught in it. I used the Read 180 program in my classroom for many years in order to help um, students access curriculum in their other class in their other classes or across genres or across content areas. Assistive technology and devices are a great way to assist teachers in providing equity to students. One of the other ways that I use assistive technology in my classroom to meet the needs of all of my students is to provide students with multiple ways to learn and engage in the lessons. We um, write the notes out so that students can see them. We re, um, record our lessons as well as um, books and different things so that students can listen to it and as well as creating videos so and tutorials so that students can watch and re-watch them and upload those into our Google Classroom. Um, I also um, make sure that I am reading out any directions so that students can hear them that way as well. So just giving them multiple ways to engage even with my um, instruction. Um, students also receive access to each part of the lessons. Um, I do a lot of my lessons in Google Slides and then can upload and will upload the slides so that students will have access to them and can go back through them. Um, I also um, will print out those slides so that students can look and take notes while also um, seeing the slides being broadcast so that they'll have them closer. Um, I can also blow or enlarge those things so that students can get, um, have students who may need that will have that um, enlarged print to read and work with as well. Um, I also teach using Nearpod, which allows students to interact and engage in the lesson in many ways. Um, in addition to these, I also encourage students to use voice typing, um, headphones, um, keyboards instead of just um, for their iPads instead of just um, the on-screen um, keyboard and um, many other things. Anything that works for them and will help them be successful. In the future, I hope to use many of the things that I learned in this class to continue creating equity in my classroom in even more effective ways.